Boarding schools are traditionally seen as places where children are sent to improve their lives and develop their personalities. While some boarding schools achieve this goal, others have failed spectacularly. In America, a tragic chapter of boarding school history revealed that nearly a thousand children died in these institutions. In this chilling historical tale, you'll explore the children's emotions and the voices of their cries. What led to these deaths? Were the children murdered by the very people tasked with their care? To understand this, we need to delve into a dark period in American history. Recent investigations have shed light on the chilling reality of these deaths. According to officials, these deaths, occurring over a 150-year span, ceased only in 1969. Shocking right? Is there a serial killer behind these murders, or are the schools cursed? Well, the investigation into these grim events gained momentum with an initial report released in 2022. This report revealed that more than 500 children had died at boarding schools. However, a more recent report released on Tuesday 30 July on provided a deeper look into the issue, spearheaded by Interior Secretary Deb Holland. Her investigation uncovered marked and unmarked graves at 65 out of more than 400 boarding schools across America. The exact causes remain unclear, but sickness, accidents, and abuse are suspected contributors. These institutions were notorious for forcibly assimilating Native American children into white society, often through collaboration with religious organizations. Why did the parents enroll their children in these types of institutions? If unsafe, children were taken from their small, distant communities and prohibited from seeing their families. Where they were given American names, subjected to manual labor like brickmaking, farming, and railroad work. The survivors reported traumatic experiences, punishment for speaking their native languages, confinement in basements, and forced haircuts to erase their cultural identities. This period is now referred to as a horrific era in American history. So, what should be done now? The Interior Department has recommended that the government invest in programs to help Native Americans heal from the traumas inflicted by these boarding schools. At least 973 Native American children died under this abusive system, and there is a growing demand for an official government apology. Secretary Deb Holland has already issued a heartfelt apology and pledged to push President Joe Biden for accountability and reparations for these historical injustices. As the case spacks the nation, investigation is ongoing.